Welcome to the Beamer podcast where we meet and learn from the journeys of successful online creators and educators how they build massive online academies. Let's hear it from them. Good morning everyone. Uh, welcome our creators and listeners to the show today. We have a very special person in the house, uh, Mr. Piyush Patel from Profit from It. Now, Profit from It is a financial training institute or a stock market training institute and it is the top 10 financial education institute according to the Silicon Valley, Valley magazine and it's it's why it's amazing is it's been done by a very small uh, team from a small town like Varudra and that's that's the beauty of it that's the journey we are going to cover today of Piyush sir and his team uh, on how they've they have charted this this success uh, journey and they're just beginning i think it's just the beginning of where they are going so let's hear it from him uh, uh, welcome sir welcome uh, and and we'd love uh, to hello. have this conversation today with you on your entire journey so far i i remember meeting you in 2018 when we were just discussing uh, you know uh, whether to go online what it means right. uh, for you to go online and, and start uh, selling your courses and workshops and right. from that day to today it's been uh, uh, it's been a good qu- quite a big journey so so let's let's first quickly uh, get to know you uh, who what makes you your background your family uh, your 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 interest passions what, what makes you okay so actually i am i am not directly connected with stock market Initially, I was having zero background of stock market. My mother is a teacher and father was having a shop. He was a shopkeeper. So I used to do a job in our uh, chemical company in Baroda. Right? But during those times also, I was interested in reading books. So any time when I used to read some good books on financial uh, topic, there was a heading of some mutual fund, some stock market, I couldn't understand that time. But I was highly interested in this subject, I tried to study more and more. And uh, that was the journey. Wow, I, I didn't know that you are not connected. Was, <laughs> they came when I was able to uh, come full time in the stock market, in, in the field which I loved. Right, so my background is chemical background. But uh, yes, I got a success in financial field because it was the subject that is, which I love the most. That is quite yeah. a story. Uh, you don't have yeah. to become what you learn to be. So you can learn Correct. anything. That's that's yeah. the essence of what we are anyway doing. So that's amazing. Right. That's that's. So so this, so that was the. How did you get interested? You already covered it, but but a little more on what was that one thing that got you into stock market and then eventually uh, kind of becoming a leader now already uh, uh, at this point where, where in, in terms of uh, stock market uh, education you i believe you to be the leader uh, so so uh, what 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 made you interested in it and then what was the journey to develop that expertise right so what i uh, find in this field that there was not a uh, proper knowledge which was distributed to the investors as I started as an investor, I failed thousands of times. So I could not understand what wrong I was doing that time. Right? So what I thought, let me study it and let me do it on myself. So I stopped hearing to anybody and I just bought some books. It was a long journey that I have read so many books. I used to attend trainings and these all things have developed us. So initially we were doing some uh, investor meets. I used to invite some speakers from Mumbai, Delhi. They used to come to our city and we used to arrange some uh, investor programs. So this was the initial phase. And uh, I think since last around 2007, so almost 14, 15 years, we, our team is doing this type of seminars in 43 cities covering around the India. Right, interesting. So, so first you were yeah. the student, <laughs> now you are yeah, the teacher. Yeah, I understood so, it. I made yeah. a lot of losses. Right? Yeah. So the, what is there in stock market? You have to understand it. You have to experiment it. So I understood. Yeah. I experiment each and everything thousands of times. Right. What I have noted 
that many people learn so many different things. They learn horizontally, but they mm. do not practice what they learnt. Right. Mm. So I was always a slow learner. Wherever I used to go for a training, I used to think that okay, all the people are too much smarter than what I was. There were some. Uh, there were many chartered accountants, company secretaries, and many people were having their heredity business of stock market. And I was totally new that time. But what I used to do, each and everything which I learnt, I used to do thousand time practice. I used to fail thousand times. So doing this type of practice, I came to know. Okay, these are the wrong methods. We should do only these things, right? Right, right. So yeah. Interesting quote I just read today. Uh, if you okay. want to write a book, you have to become a book. Same goes for if you want yeah. to build a online yeah. education business, you have to first become that person uh, and and practice it yourself. So so yeah, correct. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's great. Uh, and I also know you were, uh, you also started very early on on YouTube and these newer content media platforms. Uh, this is okay. I think uh, I'm not uh, uh, if you. can correct me if i'm wrong but you started somewhere around 2016 uh, around that time uh, uh, yeah, where, where, uh, so what 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 made you choose it because not many people around us were doing it in varodra especially i have not seen a yeah. stock market education channel uh, coming right. out of this city so so what made you do that You're sort of a pioneer there right so actually i think that we were too much late in this uh, in uh, on youtube right because we were doing trainings and seminars since 2006 right oh. so it was a long journey of our trainings but we were not putting all those meetings or the teachings on youtube but i got recommendation from our uh, other cities for example we used to visit surat we used to visit uh, some other amdavad we used to visit different cities that time so people used to say kindly put the, about this topic on youtube because we used to visit all the cities once a year only oh another year again we used to go to the same city with some latest updation great. so our great. our investor recommended us to go to youtube so it was the first time i remember uh, it would be um, uh, almost 2016 or 17 you are right that we posted a, a, a one video which was not so much uh, means a professional video we just recorded about the stock and we uploaded it but the success we got in that uh, particular video there were so many subscribers coming from that video so many people were uh, asking comments about uh, the research which we were using so it just clicked to me that this is a very good thing i didn't went to his city right but still people are able to take the knowledge so this could be a sure way to success if you want to right. reach uh, so many people right 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 and and you were you're not making any money it was just uh, uh, just out of you know helping others and yes, that's yes. where where it began uh, yeah, uh, so with it was youtube just uh, putting content on youtube i used to think that i was not going to make money from youtube but see what happened when we regularly put knowledge on any media we got several call from around the country out of the country that i have seen your video and uh, this video has helped us i want to learn so in fact many of our students have reached us through youtube right right and that became right. one so, of the growth yeah. uh, mechanisms and, right. and i i read i've read multiple comments of your technique and how you present uh, these complicated things uh, to people and, right. and uh, so i firmly believe that the delivery is what differentiates you but what what how do you uh, how did you come up with that idea of the delivery that you do on youtube or even in your courses how do you think of okay. your content right so see what happen whenever we attend some training there are uh, so many jargons we learnt right but the more complicated the subject is if it, it, it is taught in a simple way in the language what people understand it could be delivered more and this thing was missing which i saw right that many people were not able to learn that most important factors so what we do we took the simplest form that if if someone is farmer someone is totally uneducated like who was i i was not from stock market or i am not uh, having commerce background but still if i am able to understand it 
let me explain it in a simple way and factual way. No big jargons. Just do this, this, this simple things, and yes, you will be able to succeed. Right? So I Simplify. think if yeah. yeah, if we want to convey any uh, what we can say complicated subject, first teach to that person who doesn't know anything. So I used to present to my mother who doesn't know anything about stock market. If she says, "Yes, beta, this is interesting." Mm. So it triggers. Okay, she is able to understand. Then all other people could also understand. Right? The, the mom test. <laughs> that great, yeah, mom test. That's a great, <laughs> great tip. You know, for your content, if you it can appeal to your mom, then it will appeal to almost everyone yeah. because you have simplified it enough and sort of perfected it so that you could simplify it. You have to be an expert to actually yeah. simplify it. So that's a great, great takeaway. And and I jumped. too forward i think let me take you a little back in the early days okay. of starting profit from it <laughs> and and okay. what was uh, what was the early days like what what was the mission what was the passion that drove you right. uh, because you said you have a chemical engineering background and this became your vocation sort of so, so what what made you do this yeah so there were several jargons which i was not able to understand every time i used to communicate with some experienced investors that how they used to do many a time we see that uh, some speaker were coming from other cities to baroda whenever i will hear anyone coming to baroda even if i have not invited him he is coming for any other meeting i used to contact him and tell him that for two days three days you are in gujarat and i am your driver wherever uh-huh. you will go amdavad or rajkot i will take you right so you do not have to worry for any taxi or anything just keep me with you so i used wow. to roam with them i used to travel with them and what i found that these all people are simple people it is not that they are having some extraordinary thing but yes they persist more than some ordinary people right mm, initially they persist. were also a big failure they try to mm. learn they implement it and today we are seeing them as a hero so that was the great thing which i used to learn from those people right, right? and it uh, motivated me that okay they are like me only i oh. met uh, one uh, mr gupta who was from automobile background right i pick, picked him up from amdavad uh, airport he was going to travel to rajkot i took him rajkot i took him mesana and i found that he was just doing job in a tata motor company he was interested in stock market and today whole world is listening to his strategies of options right so uh-huh. we can do it yes anybody can do it in investing <laughs> that's a great great story uh, of hustle yeah. in the early days and how do you learn and and social engineering right. there's so much to un- unpack in this uh, it's probably will not even have the time to do that but but uh, uh, it, it it brings about um, Uh, the early days of how you become an expert and this is a very interesting way to, to just reach out reach out to people right. who are, are already doing what you want to become and and see wonderful things can happen from it so that's right. that's a big take away at least for me and 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 of course uh uh, uh, uh and as you said that um, there are just people like us failure is a big part of that too so right. so that's the second thing you know no, not taking yeah. uh, the first piece of it the first failures of it they are just beginning Correct. of nicer things to come so, so that those are big takeaways so great uh, and what led you after after this phase uh, what was your first uh, workshop or how was how did you plan that when did that happen okay so the first workshop i will like to tell you this thing because that's an interesting story initially what was there uh, we used to just discuss with people we were not training them Uh, just i told you that we used to visit the cities we used to discuss about stock market once a year but we were not running these workshops but mm-hmm. i was always moving uh, i was always feeling that i used to run out of money because i have to travel so many city i have to book their uh, hotel or auditorium my team used to come with me we used to give paper advertisement and all this thing if will run without any income from that source it would be a big failure but i did not thought uh, think during that time that i will teach uh, uh, what we can say run workshop mm. 
I saw just a, a board somewhere that they used to train to the people who want to uh, employ as a for a government job, right? <laughs> like IAS training, police right. inspector training. So I thought I went and met him. That what you are doing? They explained that we are running these classes. We train people, and we take that time they used to take some handsome fees, right? <laughs> so. immediately what we implemented it we thought just let us start this at our city level we used to hmm. teach people at our office and at least the amount which we used to collect was used for marketing in other city so now we were not running out of money why because money was inflowing from this training program when we were investing in other cities thanks nice. and yeah. uh, this was wow. the i think main decision that if we would not put a workshop in the channel then we would not reach any time bombay chennai delhi bangalore if we want to cover we want to run whole india money is necessary right, right? Uh, absolutely and and you did it yeah. in a very uh, organic way also uh, where with money yeah. was coming in and you were spending it to grow right. essentially market on uh, what were these marketing channels that in those days what what would you do yeah. the newspapers what, what was the what was there we used to give paper advertisement we used to uh, distribute leaflets in that city right so paper right. advertisement leaflet was one source that people used to come but we every time whenever we have visited any of the cities till now we used to tell them this is not the first time we are going to come to your city each and every year till this meeting would be continued from the local guys from your city maybe it went it can take 5 years 6 years 7 years every year we will visit you we will just see how you were trained till this time and are you taking benefit or not and we will just upgrade you every year so right. this was the theme behind this whole cities which we have covered i think as we are visiting every year people have kept trust on us that okay piyush okay. bhai khali is bar ke nahi hai he is going <laughs> to come next year and they saw us that we used okay. to visit every year in their city right so isse thoda bonding badhta hai absolutely right and absolutely. i yeah i remember everyone if some person like for today if i will go to mumbai around 500 600 people would be attending meeting but i can remember their face that okay this person is visiting our meeting since 2016 right, right? because so you, now it's bonding you, there yeah you formed a very early community in today's terms people say yeah. uh, that you want to form a community that is how you do it <laughs> that's a, that's a, <laughs> that uh, so uh, to one last question about early days how how did you form yeah. this early team which is passionate to 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 join you while because yeah. of course money was thin uh, so so right. so how did you convince uh, these early uh, uh, believers okay so what was there initially i used to contact to each and every person who were going to attend our meeting i used to follow up them each and whole process i used to do on my own but mm-hmm. that was not the way we can succeed so slowly slowly team gets in and today i can say that uh, there are some people who are since more than 15 to 15 years more wow. than one and a half decade since us so oh, they know what years. we are going to do they know what we are going to commit they know that what we are going to deliver right so slowly slowly this team get expanded and uh, hey. that's uh, it is grace of god that these are since long time they understand hey. what profit can deliver so if our team understand what we are going to deliver they will never commit wrong right hmm. so we always tell to our team that it is all right if any student doesn't join to your course but do not commit him wrong if today will not come maybe possible he will join 2 years from now 4 years from now but if once we will miscommunicate with him then that will be the end of our whole cycle Right. so commitment, relationships commitment, right. commitment. Yeah. and and building that trust in in profit from it uh, amazing yeah. amazing uh, so uh, to 
you have been doing uh, workshops for how long? Uh, is it yeah. been uh, like these offline workshops? Uh, uh, yeah. For for how long? Since around the, we are doing the 2007. 2007. Yeah. So you be successful with off offline workshops. When was that yeah. one thought? Uh, when when mm -hmm. you know you thought okay now is the time to start doing this online. You know that, that switch happens for everyone. A lot of right. uh, 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 creators right now who have right. had experience training offline and, and are still thinking on that question. So for you, what was okay. that one thing that did it? Right. So see, what was the main theme behind why we took from offline to online? Was I used to visit 43 cities in a year. If I want to go for a single meeting, then okay, I can go in all 43 cities. But I used to stay for three, three days for these workshops. So this was really a very hard thing. Visiting every city is two times, first for one day, another time for three days, and it used to disturb my family. Because there are several good occasions in your family, right? Even my teams, team used to travel with me. Some or some time there are marriages, birthdays or any celebration, right? So everyone used to think, not alone me, me that we should find some another way. Because this is extremely hard work which we were doing. So yeah. point number one was this thing. Hard work from our side. Point number two was the cost which we were taking for workshop was high. Why mm. it was high? Because we have to stay at some four or five star hotel. And in that four or five star hotel, we used to run our workshop for three days. Right. We can downgrade at any normal hotel. But see, a... We want to give quality, right? In our education also, and we don't want to compromise even in our venue. So we were not going to compromise in venue. We want top class venue. Mm -hmm. But due to this thing, price used to increase. Right? right? Because majority of the person would be going to hotel. Yeah. So we thought, yeah, we thought, why to give to hotels? Let right. us build some uh, online program people can learn at their own comfortable time. Right? That right. I remember my days when I was learning, I used to buy some audio cassettes. I used to import cassettes from US. But that was my comfortable time. I used to run it in my uh, Walkman and I used to hear the training program. So that was more comfortable. Now I was not going to go to US specially for that training. So it was just running in our mind. And we started building it in uh, around, we can say, six to seven months before COVID. Six to seven months before six COVID. Six to seven oh. months before COVID, yeah. But we have not just pushed. Some of hey. our team members used to think that this will be a big failure. <laughs> right? So some were positive, some were negative. We have already right. recorded the videos, we have created the content, but we were not doing online courses. Hey. Hey. I still remember our last visit was at Bangalore. We were having our three day workshop in Bangalore during that COVID time and COVID just uh, came that time. We were not able to even have a good dinner outside the hotel. Everything were closed and people, some of the our students have cancelled their flights who were coming from Bombay to Bangalore to attend that program. Mm. So we thought this is the right time to implement what we have already created initially, right? I contact your team and <laughs> we just implemented that uh, program. Initially, we did it on our uh, previous website. But see, that website was not properly for teaching. That was right. a normal website where we used to upload our YouTube videos, right? But it was not in an organized way. And I got Teach More, your company, providing us this whole program in a very organized way means people can uh, uh, watch the video if they, for example, watch the one video, they went to their job, whenever they are again uh, watching, they would be continued from that video where they have left. Right. So many things I got, these are uh, too much useful for our, our type of training organization. Right. Implemented in, I think, uh, June month, June of 2020, the first era wave of COVID. And it right. was great successful, means people joined from around the world. 
टिल नाउ वॉट यूज टू एपन वी वेंट टू बेंगलोर सम मेन नाइन्टी परसेंट पीपल वर फ्रॉम बेंगलोर एंड सम फ्यू पीपल वुड बी कमिंग फ्रॉम कोलकाता और दिल्ली बिकॉज दे वुड बी हैविंग कॉस्ट ऑफ फ्लाइट ऑफ होटल्स देयर कोर्ट फील वुड बी मोर देन वन लैख रुपीज बट नाउ वी आर ऑनलाइन सो वॉट एपन देयर कॉस्ट वॉज सेव अवर कॉस्ट वॉज सेव राइट सो इट वॉज विन विन सिचुएशन फॉर इच एंड एवरी पर्सन I think as a teacher there was a very big challenge initially right. that I used to teach them for three days. It was a full three day workshop. I used to come back to my city, and then they could not remember each and everything which I have taught. Hmm. So what will happen after five six months? Slowly slowly their motivation can go down, right? Now yes, we are having habit to visit their city every year. so we can push up their motivation again next year but that's a too long time hmm here online what happens they can mute piyush patel any time they can run piyush patel any time so they can review their whole workshop right any period of month for example we teach several episodes 14 15 episodes some student may think that i am weaker in this subject seventh episode for example what he can do he can go to seventh episode he can rewind his learning so that was simple this thing was not possible in that practical portal workshop right right so i right. think this is the most successful way and yes it has helped us increase more revenue than what we were doing that time wow no, yeah. more revenue at a lower price point so it's it scaled yeah, it up over... that quickly and in just a matter of couple of years yeah correct many uh-huh. people in from our team also were why negative they used to think that when we were teaching their live right in right. a hotel conference room if somebody is not having his focus hmm. we used to go to their table and we used to remind them that you are sitting in a workshop hmm. let us focus we used to do practical homeworks and practical assignments so all everyone would be highly involved in online many of our team used to think that people can just they will start the video and they will go to bathroom they will go <laughs> to take some lunch but yeah. amazingly i this thing doesn't happen if people right. are moving from video they just uh, mute and went go right this was highly successful i thought that yeah we can do it in a more better way online right um. so so how did you from while you were transitioning there must be multiple questions how do we replicate the same experience yeah how do we Correct. make the content in a way that it still delivers yeah. the same amount of value uh, yeah. and same Correct. experience uh, so right. so what was the thought process behind that and transitioning right. to an online course format because i've seen you have a very interesting format too you do recorded you also do live sessions you send yeah. a lot of emails uh, throughout the course so you have a very right. engaging format that you've developed so so th- tell me the thought process behind it how it evolved over the last couple of years right. so how it uh, how we were more successful because many of our team member i said that they were negative in online right so we do did, did a mind boggling session that what are the challenges in online and what are the positive points in online right so the challenges was this number one thing involvement right mm. so i assure everybody that i will 100% involve your each and every student because the our team is follow up doing follow up with everyone they are assuring that you are going to get value from this course if they will not get the value then what will happen right and we have 100% satisfaction guarantee formula since long time more than decade that if you hmm. are not satisfied even after completing the course take your full money back right this thing we were going to continue so if people will not satisfied what will happen so we thought let us involve them by giving them assignments we will check their assignment and if will if people will not do this assignment then we will do their follow up like who are our student builders are our student chartered accountants company secretaries doctors majority of doctors want to learn stock market so mm-hmm. they have no time to do assignment but we mm-hmm. as we push our assignment that sir if you will not do it then you will not learn it and your invested money will go to vain 
So our team regularly contact everybody to complete that assignment. And when people do practically, they face lot of challenges, right? Just listening is easy. Okay, mm. I know everything. But when they yeah. will do practically, they will know. Okay, I am not able to do this thing. Mm -hmm. So our team used to help them. They said, "Okay, sir, doing this way, doing this way." So what happened? That people got more involved, mm. right? We do a weekly live session with all yes. our students. They tell us what were the challenges you faced while doing this homework. So people used to talk. Initially, many of our teammates used to think that people used to people will tell negative. If you say, "Mirko, ye nahi aata hai, maine ye kar pata hu," so this negative thing will not work. But what we thought, let let people say negative, but we are here to improve their negative thing, right? Our work is this. Who has the weakness? Let us complete it. तो कमी तो पता चलना ही चाहिए वी शुड नो वॉट आर दर चैलेंजिंग राइट सो दिस वॉज द वे वी इंटरक्टेड विद डेम एवरी वीक एंड ड्यू टू दिस होल रेकॉर्डिंग प्लस लाइव सेशन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दिस थिंग गेव हंड्रेड परसेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन टू ऑल ऑफ अवर स्टूडेंट राइट एंड एंड यू डिड दिस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंगली बिकॉज when you record a video you are delivering your content in the best possible format but you are also having this interaction which is unique right. it cannot be uh, it cannot happen in a recorded way so that is where you right. you so using the right tools for the right things sort of uh, makes right. makes that online course really right. interesting and scalable uh, uh, right. sometimes uh, uh, Otherwise, because you're still repeating yourself, and then you're not solving your lifestyle problems, which you are, which you anyway had while doing an offline workshop. So that's right. a that's a very uh, I really love the format, and 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 you also use a lot of emails. Uh, yeah. Uh, what 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 was the thinking behind it? Uh, you know, where did you see that this is a very critical piece in my course uh, delivery? Okay. Okay, so what we thought uh, we uh, just discuss about the involvement of students, right? So we just put out the point how we will highly involve our student, right? So one way was follow up from our team that hello sir, how is going on? Is are you able to understand what our sir is teaching you? So follow. Second, we are even sending them SMSs, WhatsApp, emails. right so this emails is the fourth thing which we have implemented right and i think that all these four things are important for involving our students right, right. See, some people have habit to see all the sms is so what they will find that okay we have received the sms that today some new episode has been updated right. some people are hyperactive in whatsapp and some are hyperactive in email so we thought later and uh, one thing you are having very good in your uh, teach more format that notification right push notification whenever we upload anything we notified it to everyone this was the most negative thing in our website initially right. the website we used to run i always used to think that we have updated a video but how will people know that your subject has been updated so if people will not get notified that something new has come in your course they will be just Sleeping, right? Absolutely. And that was the main reason I was attracted toward teach more. Notification was number one thing. Super. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, so we talked about course content. We also talked about how to engage. Uh, uh, one thing that I would want to learn is about pricing. Uh, you priced yeah. uh, your you you have uh, priced your courses higher. Uh, when right. you see the competition it's correct quite a lot it's more be 3x yeah. 4x sometimes and uh, right. and that that also i love it because there's confidence behind what you're going to deliver of course you talked about right. the money back guarantee where the trust happens mm -hmm. but but right. how did you come to that price point which is right. sort of it has to be a sweet spot it cannot be too high it cannot be too correct, low correct. either so how do you right. come to that sweet spot right right so what happened uh when we were doing our uh, that uh, offline workshops right i said that we have to book that hotel so all due to all those thing our cost used to go high now there were two thing either deliver lesser and keep your cost lesser 
right? Or we want to teach them each and everything which is useful to them, right? So we would, we initially thought our whole team decided that we are not going to deliver less, rather deliver them full, give them full confidence. Price will be higher. It's all right. We don't want so many people in our course. Right? It's all right if other people are getting 500 students. Mm. We are getting only 50 students. But yes, I am able to focus on each and every person. I know right. the name of every student. I know what shares they are holding. I know what challenges they are holding. They are having. So what I can even do? I know that even after completion of the workshop, for example, four month workshop has been completed. But I know that there are some missing points still in that June batch or September batch. So what we do, we just upgrade it later after three months, four months. People want some time for learning mm. also, right? So just if we will teach them each and everything, it will not be good for them also. They could not digest each and everything. So we right. teach them, give them some time to digest and then we upgrade them later on. So what wow. our student like the most that it is not like four month course completed and our relation are over. In mm. fact, real learning starts after the completion of course. Real because they are going starts. to implement it. They are going to come face many challenges and we are here there to support them, to upgrade them. Right. Right? So this is what makes us somewhat uh, different from other people. And giving these sort of things at a very low cost, it's impossible. If right. it will even, we will not able to run our business. So what we will have to do? Deliver less. Right? Right. We, want, right. we, we do not want to compromise in the quality of the product or service which we were delivering. So we thought, uh, let us be an iPhone. We don't want to become the Chinese mobile. <laughs> so many students and nobody knows anything. Right, right, absolutely. That's that's a great point on how to use pricing to to deliver quality and also yeah. think of it in a different way. Also have it as a blocker also. Sometimes to have yeah. quality students attend your workshops. So that correct, quality correct. works both the ways. And you did a, you mentioned a very interesting phenomena here. Uh, so you, I mean, a lot of people ask us cohort based courses, what are cohort based courses and, and right. you know, a lot. There are other platforms who've been just marketing themselves and uh, as a cohort based course, and you are actually a pioneer in sort of a cohort based course because uh, uh, and you did it in a very hybrid way. So not just a cohort. Cohort is essentially live sessions with some uh, 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 PDFs and all of it delivered over a month or two, and then it ends. So cohort based right. courses end. You said right. uh, you don't end your courses. You keep delivering yeah. value over the period of years. And that is the online course format uh, on platforms like Teach More, where, where you can do a code based course, but you can do this, this uh, timeless course, uh, yeah. uh, which, which can help you deliver more value to your students. So right. that is a very interesting use of an online course. Sometimes people just record it and keep it and keep selling it. Right. But you figured a way to sort of use it in a very unique way. And I think that is the future also that a lot of courses will be a mix of uh, not just a cohort or this or that. It will be unique to each teacher's learning uh, or teaching style. And it has to deliver va value over a period of years. So it's a very right. unique insight into how you use online courses and, and uh, that. So uh, with, with that, it ties very well to the next thing that I have in my mind of how did you grow? Uh, one is how did you grow in terms of marketing and what, what do you do right. now online versus offline? You invested, you said you invested heavily in marketing yeah. after every uh, uh, workshop. Right. What, what has that become now? Uh, that's one. I, I, I will go on with the second question. But what, right. has, what is your marketing? What is your growth strategy look like now? Right. So we started from four to five cities. When we were visiting four to five cities, budget was that much. Mm. As our courses started growing, we used to increase one by one cities. 
फर्स्ट टाइम आउट ऑफ गुजरात वी वेंट एट बॉम्बे हाफ ऑफ टीम वॉज नेगेटिव वाइल वी वर विजिटिंग टू बॉम्बे दे से नो नो बॉम्बे के तो बहुत होशियार है उनको तो शेयर बाजार बहुत आता है सो इट विल बी नॉट बी सक्सेसफुल वी वेंट बॉम्बे एंड इट वॉज सुपर सक्सेसफुल पीपल जस्ट इन दैट अवर फर्स्ट थ्री डे थ्री और सेमिनार वर डिलाइटेड एंड वी वी गोट बंपर स्टूडेंट्स इन डेट कोर्स more than what we used to get in gujarat <laughs> so i thought that anything whenever you are going to do some people would be there who would be negative but it's all right we should take input from those negative that why you are negative just complete correct those negative and we can become successful we used to after bombay we thought let us go to delhi same negative thing delhi ko log kab bhi kuch nahi karenge wo tumhare se nahi aayenge so Delhi was more successful than Bombay in the first meeting itself. So what was this thing? It taught us a very important lesson that कोवे हर जगह काले होते हैं. गुजरात हो, दिल्ली हो, बॉम्बे हो. There are so many people who want to learn, and they are not able to get the right company from where they can learn. So wherever you will go, Bangalore, Kolkata, the cities which we then selected. one by one we invested in one city we got some good amount we put the same in different cities so i think in 2018 we visited 11 cities we list out all those cities which were more than 25 lakh populated right 25 lakh se jyada population wale city mein hum log gaye aur aisa karte karte now we have a list of those cities of india with 10 lakh plus population that is 43 cities in india are having this population so we are visiting these all 43 cities but one thing is clear that any city where we will visit we will visit every year if ah. we can't visit another year we will not go to that city right right so now now with right. online app and uh, these yeah. offline workshops how do you balance it and how do you also grow your online presence so one is to grow the offline right. workshop model but how do you also now think of growing your app uh, how right. do you think of adding more content what goes into now right. upgrading and and growing right. Uh, uh. right for upgrading see initially i used to take our app lightly that it is only for teaching people right but then we thought that yes it can be even used for teaching our free content right there are 99% of the content which are freely available at our app so we first uh, uh, wherever we do meeting we ask people to download the app and start learning no need to do the course immediately just start learning from free courses and whenever they are comfortable they can join online nice so free is a tool free course your content delivers yeah. so much value free. that right it's just a eventuality that they will buy a workshop uh it's yeah. because the free uh, uh, that's a great I mean, great great strategy free is also uh, we can say free means it's uh, not like this that it is not useful so yeah. all free things are ultra useful yes right? because yes. we give them every update of market i think from around 14 15 years daily morning 8 o'clock i give update of nifty so it is a habit since more than one and a half decade that morning all our student will get the update of nifty how today's market outlook is there we have habit of regularly updating result of each and every company right so whenever result would be updated we will give provide them that see this is the current result of any company and we can expect their movement like this so this has become a habit and this all mm-hmm. this thing we i think we provide provide free of charge so people take can take benefit they can create a good portfolio from free content also right so that that absolutely yeah. so free content and g- giving yeah. unique and uh, delivering actual value uh, is of course the great strategy for to convert but one thing i also want to learn is uh, yeah. how do you still bring them on the app? so do you do ads okay. or do you do uh, what yeah. do you do to actually get so the discovery happen that, yeah. yeah i i said that it was print media where we used to give advertisement 
right but in around 2016 we transferred from print media to digital media right we used to give ads on facebook and google and this thing i think is more interesting than that older version print media in print media our cost was high and our productivity was low in the world of digital cost we can't say it is high because print media doesn't deliver to each and every person where we want to deliver right digital media can take our product to those people who need our product so i think this digital input have we tried to learn during for 2014 and 15 and uh, it was fruitful for us right so today also we invest in many cities which we are in uh, which are in our list and people download the app people go to our youtube channel and from there we got our get our students right so 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 complete strategy you use social media give free content yeah. uh, based on that you 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 sell a workshop which is heavily priced so that that yeah. you people often call this a sales funnel uh, your right. your sales funnel is absolutely clear on what it wants to achieve so that is yeah. the, the and and then engagement reengagement at the end of the day so so how many times you see your uh, uh, repeat customers in the sense that uh, they they buy your workshops again or what is that uh, uh, what does that look like for you so what happen see our team recontact each and every one whenever for example this seventh we are going to pune and okay. eighth we are going to mumbai so this two cities we are going to visit in the month of may so our team will contact all of our old student past students right and all the past students will be again joining our course free of charge we do not take any type of charge for repeating the course oh. right because see what i think that the content which i have the content which i have taught you 5 years back was as per 5 years back today you need more contents to create wealth today there are many more updates so if our students are not trained then it is negative point for us so we think each and every student should be get getting into this funnel every time so not by paid version right they have paid us they are in our family let us upgrade them every year so we request everyone to at least take repeat the course every year we are not taking fees but you should repeat it so what mm-hmm. happen our students recommend to other for example he is doing a job in any it company there are other find it people other people would be attracted to this person ki yaar hum to loss kar rahe tu kaise profit kar raha hai he recommend us he recommend the course of us so what happen mm-hmm. 90% of our students come from channels youtube channel where we put our videos or from these our past students reference that my brother my friend want to do your course right, right. So th- that's how you build a community yeah. that is, is you, when you give a lot yes. when you give a lot uh, it just automatically happens uh, that you you're not thinking about uh, when you are not thinking about making money you are making a lot more money it's like it, it's sort yeah. of that where where how do i not get uh, uh money all the time from this one person but right. give them the value give delivering the value and right. it will happen so that they'll start referring word of mouth will happen and right. uh, uh, so there's n- there's no easy way to hack word of mouth i would say it's just delivering right. uh, a great experience for people who have come right. to you so so that's it clear insight uh, into how do you uh, i i will like to give a example here for yeah. this thing for example uh, if i want to buy a car right and i i will see um, the car which i love the most on the road and it, that car would be in a bad position tooty footy saaf nahi ki hui hai dirty car wo mera bhi goal bigade what i will think oh yaar this car is not looking so much nice which i used to think in my goal right but if that product which is on the road is highly upgraded then definitely other people want to become that product right 
so we we think our students should be always be shining more than what all other investors are and this was a one of the drawback ha dipai kya hota tha when we used to do physical workshop there we have to take money from our past student kyunki hey. hotel wala to nahi bolega ah okay your 50 students came so you will have to pay this much wo khana bhi hota hai pura din lunch tea so they have hey. fixed price that you will have to pay per head 2500 or 3000 to us right right so that time initially when we were doing physical workshop we used to take fees for repeat programs because we have to pay to that hotel right, right? but now as it is online we you are providing that yes you should upgrade every year and there is uh, 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 so uh, altruistic or sort of uh, uh, like you are giving so much value when you you didn't have to charge them you are not charging them that's Uh, yeah. that's a very obvious thing sometimes but a lot of people miss it and that is what probably leads to this Correct. growth uh, 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 and and how you differentiate from the rest of the people uh, where it's not just about the course but how you care for them over a period of time yeah. and then that then there's no stopping you essentially i think because uh, yeah. you given i guess the blueprint of how do you innovate in a market where you you start as a beginner Uh, you become, mm-hmm. how do you become an expert and then from the first course to uh, so many uh, thousands of workshops today so so you kind of covered everything uh, yeah. so so the by one we thing to our customer yeah yeah that when you are associating with profit from it it is yeah. like a marriage yeah your divorce doesn't happen <laughs> you are associated means you are associated for life long Mm. <laughs> that's a that's a great pitch. <laughs> that's a great great pitch. It's not a transaction. It's an yeah, association. It's not a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So what is that I'm sure you already covered it. But what is that one thing that significantly changed the game for profit from it? Like one there is always an inflection point ki yahan se ab upar hi jana hai. What was that one moment when we decided to move out of Gujarat? it gave us high growth mm. right because when we were thinking only gujarat there were we used to visit so many small towns also right mesana patan dabhoi jambusar bharuch so what happened when we covered whole india now our list was fixed that we have we will not be able to cover each and every city right so as soon as we Come out of Gujarat, and we started to do business in big cities like Baroda is a small city, right? But when we approach to larger cities, we thought we came to know that people are highly interested in the product which you are selling. They are enthusiastic people. They have money to invest, right? Versus in many small towns, people do not have money to even invest also. So yes, people. Yes. invest crores or rupees in stock market and they do not earn money so that's a very bad extremely bad thing they only do speculation so we teach them to come right on the path and i think this was our our inflection point when we decided to go out of gujarat so today right. our 95% student are out of gujarat wow. only 5% are from gujarat and then when you launch the app what happens then uh, right uh, because yeah, you now start yeah that was a, a tremendous uh, i can say immediate positive point what happened as soon as we launched the app people started learning from their mobile initially what happened we used to say them hum aapke city mein ye mahine mein aayenge aur tab aap sikhoge now what is there they have the app they start learning immediately at their comfortable time right <laughs> The updates which they are getting from app, that notification, right? This is that that has helped us very much. I updated uh, today morning market outlook. How will people know from that notification? So all this app is doing very good way in and helping us to reach more and more people. People, right, right. So, so 
eventually uh, one last thing that we got to cover why teach more <laughs> why why did you yeah. choose teach more okay. uh, and then uh, it was 29 uh, 2020 you said i had met you initially uh, way before i that time you yeah. did not choose to go online uh, yeah. it was 2018 and then uh, so what was the thinking then what happened afterwards and why teach more because of course there are other platforms too oh, so why, right. why teach more so the initially what happened that we have already created our website and as soon as we have created a website we have started relationship with uh, our creator website was going well and that time your uh, team met us and we, our mind was not open that time why our mind was not open because it was initial phase of our previous relationship and we right. do, do not want to every time change relation hmm. Hmm. right jab tak koi problem nahi hai kyun hum aisa kare right sikhane mein to kya tha for learning we used to visit all cities hmm now i was attracted from that meeting about the notification thing which we have said email right. delivery right? right sms delivery and from our website we were not able to do so many things right 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 my important thing that website was text based website or picture based website mm. so many videos our website could not handle mm. right and your website teach more was specially designed for teaching right yes. so this was something for especially like people like us right. so whatever it was in our mind we were traveling city to city and when we thought first time that let us move to some app it was mm. the first name which we think it was teach more teach more right right yeah and so it was a wise decision <laughs> after contacting teach more we have uh, never visited any other app so why to do everything is going fine we are extremely satisfied and here your team is also doing very good right and if whenever we are having any challenges they are with us so it gives us a win win situation thank you for saying that thank you uh, so yeah. uh uh shout out to the team quickly thank you everyone but uh, <laughs> uh so um uh, what are, you already covered but just want to specifically ask again what are these one or two things that you you think makes teach more uh great like it has changed the game for you what are these one or two yeah. things that you love about teach more uh, uh right so number one thing is specially designed for teachers right so there are not too many options there may be many options in uh, websites or apps but in teaching specially teaching thing i don't think there are too many options right and teach more is i can say yes they are based in teaching option right so number one thing is that uh, we are specially designed for teachers two there are many functions which i can use to involve my student like quiz are there right private videos are there so private videos is very interesting thing live trainings live seminars we can conduct from our websites to involve students different type of no- notification panels are there nobody can record directly from the app if we are uh, re- uh, uploading the private video on our app so these all things make our app unique and most of things see may, maybe there would be some other app which can provide us all this thing but the touch personal touch whenever you are in problem you contact your we contact our your team and we are satisfied so this is most important thing if one or two uh, what we can say one or two um, features of your app doesn't work also like how we thought it's all right because we get whatever we want from your app right right <laughs> thank you that that puts a lot of things in perspective of how we are also thinking about building the platform and how right. important is the team uh, that is right. we got to take care of that aspect even while we grow we have this consciously in right. our mind that we don't want to lose that 
touch with our and this is one of those initiatives that yeah. can stay in touch uh, uh, with all our creators and help build a community so that we all right. can grow together and that is the idea so the, what what would be uh, your what do you like to tell our viewers about one last thing about teach more you already said it so you don't have to repeat it so one in one sentence what's teach more for you how does it work for you uh, and and what do you see yourself accomplishing with teach more in the next uh, few in next years to come right right so teach more has helped me reach more people with ease of mind why because i have time to do other thing i uh, as a teacher we want uh, we should learn we should have time to upgrade ourselves also so when app good app is running at back people are already watching your learnings and trainings so system is perfect then you will get time to upgrade yourself and it will help reach even more people right so definitely if anybody who is right now also running his business offline i have uh, individually urge many of the teachers to come online because yes this is the way we can teach to so many people so many people so right? so to sum it up teach, uh, so yeah. we have this internal saying right uh, be more with teach more or teach more allows you to be okay. be more that is that is that can you put it that way that teach more allows you yeah, to be yeah. be more <laughs> that's your perfect logo <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, so thank you, thank you. We, I think we have already run out of time. It has been wonderful yeah. reconnecting with you, sir. Uh, and we will keep this channel going. Uh, all your feedbacks are highly welcome. Um, and and thank you once again. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, and yeah. we'll stay in touch. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you.